Hey guys, welcome back to The Wandering Wind. I'm your host, Gregory, and today I wanted to talk a bit about what has been going on with the channel in the last week. Um, last Sunday, I posted my Happy New Year video, and um, then I got to work on starting on a few projects I've been meaning to do, including trying to find possible options for upgrade upgrades to my technology because honestly i'm looking at um probably either needing to buy a completely new computer at some point or slowly upgrading the most crucial parts until i have a new system but either way it's going to be a bit of a mess um but the biggest thing i wanted to talk about is where things stand going forward with my channel and with the way things are going to go on here so first of all i will be live streaming not anytime soon i've got to wait until my funding from the church comes in and then i've got to order the parts i tried doing just just a recording job you know playing some gameplay playing some games and then play and recording it in the background and it wasn't working too well the frame rate is all jittery and it just so evidently my rig as it stands right now is not capable of doing that anymore uh there might be some sort of a hardware incompatibility or it might just be that it's old and some of it has decided to start failing at points which you know i mean i've got a hard drive i've got an ssd hard drive i've got a an rtx 2060 but then I've got, okay, what do I have my, for my CPU? That I do not remember right offhand. I've got an Intel Core i5-2400 at 3.1 gigahertz. Okay, the i5-2400, I do believe, is from, let me go ahead and check, i5-2400. Let me see. It is probably from. <laughs> oh gosh, year, year, only state. There we go. 2011. Oh my goodness. Okay, yeah. This is a 12 year old CPU. No wonder I'm having issues. <laughs> uh, the i5 2400 CPU is definitely not something I would have considered using had I not been on a on a severe budget <laughs> severe budget but I am working towards getting a Ryzen CPU and motherboard combo so that I can get upgraded a bit I might just go ahead and splurge on like a basic desktop unit with a Ryzen 5 or a Ryzen 7 if I can if I can scrounge it up because then all I got to do is Throw the SSD and the GPU in there, and then reuse the old stuff for like a server. I've been I've been meaning to use use the old parts once I get the new ones in for a Plex server anyway. Because honestly, I'm tired of having to either watch 50 million ads to watch a free show or pay for a subscription service, and I'm just going to cancel in a month. So. I might just go back to Plex. Anyway, the biggest thing that I think I'm going to be um, really frank with you about is my videos might not be edited as well as they were before, and this is because of a change in my video editing pro software. Um, I was provided a year ago, maybe two years ago at this point, with a with a license for Filmora 11, um, thanks to my church. They had bought two when they really only needed one. And so my pastor, Rob, said that as long as I wasn't doing anything awful with it or or misusing it in any way, I was free to use the license that we had for the second one. I thank Tim for that, and I've been using it since. Recently, however, um, I realized that Filmora wanted to upgrade to version 12 and then asked me to pay $30 after exporting a watermarked video. 
So evidently the lifetime license that they used to offer is now just a perpetual license with an asterisk on it, a, a added fee, as if you will. Um, hidden fees do not jive with me very well. They really just um, irritate me at points. And so I'm probably going to um, be very, very, very blunt when I say this is messed up and I'm not having it. <laughs> I'm just not having it. It, it, it. I'm sorry, folks. I'm not I'm not supporting a company that screws over people like that. I'm not. So for the last couple of days, I've been going through a few different uh, video editing programs. I went through uh, Blackmagic Designs DaVinci Resolve, which, yes, it's an industry standard even on the free level. It is also, very much so, a steep learning curve. I can barely get green screen effects to work. And that's only because I look up a tutorial and it gives me exact steps. But then beyond that, it becomes, mm, it becomes horribly, horribly complicated very quickly. I also uh, tried a, another free video editing software called Caden Live. It's a free and open source software that basically is based on the uh, KDE software library. It's Linux, so it's Linux first, but it also works on Windows. Thank goodness. So I tried it. It didn't exactly solve my issues because it doesn't have GPU processing. And so when I export a video, it takes forever. And then I hit on HitFilm, which is something I used years ago and something I had been meaning to go, to go back to and check out eventually. I thought at first I wasn't going to like it because I couldn't figure out how to do like chroma key effects or whatever. But I watched a few tutorials. I got everything set up to where I, I can actually edit videos like I like. And so now my new video editing software is going to be hit film, hit film free. They got rid of the Express version. Well, I mean, they're not releasing new versions of it. It's now hit film free and hit film pro. And they offer a little bit of, of um, leeway in the payment plans for pro. I'm not going pro, but just if I end up finding my needs going further than I have capability right now, I know I've got an option, but I don't have to worry about it right now. Um, there was also a paid version of um, DaVinci Resolve, but it's 300 bucks. And really all it ever um, offers extra is like automatic updates and free updates and everything else forever. You know, it, it just, you know, extra bells and whistles I don't really need. So I'm sticking with hit film free for now. Um, you already know about my switch from OBS to Prism Live Studio. I don't regret that. However, there are some learning curves with that as well. That might also be why um, streaming and game recording is not doing well. I don't know. I mean, from, from my experience, the GPU and CPU loads on Prism are a lot lower than they are with OBS. But that's just my experience with it. I don't know exactly what's going to happen with that. I do know, however, I'm going to be trying to make at least one video every other day on here and then of course i've got my daily devotional series going that i'm going to be doing through all 12 steps 30 days each so that's 360 days of content that i know i'm going to have for you guys over on the second channel um i'm also working on using online tools to write um and, and create like sermon outlines for sunday sunday mornings Sermons are going to be at 10 a.m. Sunday mornings. You can see the upload go live at that point. Um, I'm considering doing premieres, but again, I've noticed that premieres don't do as well, but I don't know. I just, I, I know I'm going to have to do something because right now my views are low. 
and that's fine. I mean, it's a brand new channel, but I got to see about figuring out some way to stimulate the uh, the um, algorithm to actually find my content because that's going to be key for the ministry to go forward. And so that's that's really much my pretty much my plans, other than like. Um, Oh yeah, I recently got an employer identification number um, so that I can fill out paperwork to be able to apply for a 501c3 status, which is basically a nonprofit status for my for my Rest Road Church, and then from that I can start getting government grants for nonprofits and stuff to be able to start getting things moving. Um, I'm also applying for individual grants right now to kind of stimulate that because one, it takes $270 to be able to pay for this thing, to be able to um, <laughs> apply. And two, I just need some extra help. I mean, I got, we got some problems here with the, with the apartment right now that we're trying to fix. Um, it's taking a lot of work to get it done. Landlords aren't going to be any help because they really don't do a whole lot anyway. So it's really just me and mom trying to fix the issue ourselves without having to worry about it taking forever or possibly, you know, costing us thousands of dollars. It's just ridiculous. The last time we had a problem like this, it was several years ago and it was still pretty bad. I still have nightmares about how, how rough it was getting all that taken care of and fixed. And so it's fun, it's fun. But, you know, I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to do this the best way possible. I'm trying to manage the best way possible. I'm just really getting to the point where everything is in line where it needs to be. That's what I want. So I love you guys. I will see you guys again next time. I'm going to try and make a couple more videos updating you on other situations. And then I will see you guys again in the next video. Thank you guys so much. Have a wonderful day. God bless. I'll see you again soon.